Hi, I'm Eve from Fly Movies and What's Up? And today I'm going to tell you a little bit how to power charge the Power Gorilla. The Power Gorilla is a battery pack that you can use on the run and it will charge and power almost anything from your iPhone to your laptop. The Power Gorilla is normally charged via the mains which takes 2 to 3 hours or via the Solar Gorilla which you see here. Also the Solar Gorilla will charge the Power Gorilla, however PowerGorilla.com says on their website that charging the Power Gorilla with the Solar Gorilla can take long in the Northern Hemisphere and might even be impossible during autumn and winter times. Here you see the performance on a cloudy summer day of the Solar Gorilla facing directly in where the sun would be. It delivers an output of 150 milliamperes, which is barely one third of the power of a normal USB port at your computer, which outputs 500 milliamperes. So I thought, how can we change that and effectively charge the Power Gorilla with some more solar power? And this is where the Sunsei SE1500 panels come in. Each panel is about 200 euros, delivers 23.3 watts of output power at a rating of 1.5 amperes. You can daisy chain these, which you see here on the top, the little cable, and then input the cable into the Power Gorilla via a car connector. Now two panels will just deliver as much power as the Power Gorilla can bear. And setting up the whole system takes only about 5 minutes. You connect the solar panels and then you connect the car adapter into the car adapter of the Power Gorilla. All the cables at the Power Gorilla you see here are delivered in the box of the Power Gorilla. And once connected, the system starts charging. As you can see, the output is three times higher than with the Solar Gorilla and it can be even five to eight times higher. So I've seen this uh, system delivering three ampere when the sun is directly facing the panels, which it is at the moment not. The output voltage is 24 to 31 volts, which drives the Power Gorilla a little bit outside of its specifications. The Power Gorilla should only be charged up to 25 volts. But so far I didn't recognize any damage or anything bad that would happen with the Power Gorilla when charging it up with the Sunsei panels. Charging takes about 2 to 3 hours afternoon sun and the Power Gorilla will then be charged from 0 to full battery. The Power Gorilla has a capacity of 21 ampere hours. Closing the whole system and leaving it outside is not a problem at all. Just make sure that this is waterproof and a little bit of rain or snow won't harm it. And meanwhile, well, my Solar Gorilla is now charging my iPhone because I thought it takes too long to use it with a power gorilla. <laughs>